what you need to know here is that nobody reinvented the wheel, okay? Take us out where he's been around for a long time. They're very dependable. Um, and hydronic coils have been around for a very long time. They're actually very simple. You just run hot water through a coil, and then you put a blower motor or fan underneath it. The fan goes, heats the air up, pushes it through your ductwork. Very simple, very efficient. No moving parts, no 160 or 200 degree uh, combustion chamber inside the furnace that you have to worry about. So the first part of the system is the Prestige Tankless uh, Hot Water Heater. This hot water heater is a modulating hot water heater. So it will run anywhere from 199,000 BTUs. Now most of you who are watching this, you probably have 100,000 BTU uh, uh, furnace in your house. And a hot water tank that probably is about 36, if a 40 gallon hot water tank. If you had a really good one, if you didn't buy the Home Depot special, you, you, you know, you've got 40,000 BTUs. If you bought the, the cheaper version, you probably got about 36,000 BTUs to 28,000 BTUs. So this one here, there's no combustion chamber in here. This is all done off of hot water that's heated through this system. So all your hot water and all your heating for the house are done off of this little box here. As Billy explained in the prior video when he's going over the service and the maintenance of it, you have your supply air, you have your supply air, and your combustion air. Okay, so this is a completely sealed system. You could literally put it in the closet as long as you can vent it to the outside. Obviously this is a Brick Georgian style house in case you're wondering that it really lent itself when we did it. You got easy access. We, we only had to go with two inch pipe. You can go a longer distance with the venting but you might have to go up to three or four inch pipe. So all that, if you hire a professional installer, all that's in this install book and the codes depending on the elbows in the 90s and, and what you have to put in for the venting that dictates the size of the vent. Obviously there is an overall size of the vent. I, th I believe with this particular system, you can go up to about 45 feet, okay? They say the copper pipes that are running, the, the, the hot water that's going to heat the house, this can be run up to 50 feet. What we did here, this is just three quarter inch copper piping. All we did was after it was all in, we just put some insulation on it, taped it up just to kind of help the efficiency along a little bit, okay? Along the lines of the Nightcore program, there's stuff you're going to see on here. This meter here is not the meter for the house. We ran, as part of agreeing to be part of this program, we ran a separate gas meter to the house. So this is actually, all this is telling us is how much gas this is using right here. So this heats the hot water and, and, heats the, uh, for, and does the heating for the house. They can figure out the, the total gas usage and the efficiency, and, and that way they're breaking it out from the, from, the, from the dryer, from the stove, that type of stuff. So. Uh, they, we put this in, this is actually Nightcore, this is part of ETI's equipment that they gave us to put in. Um, and then we put in all these controls, these are taking temperature readings and combustion gas readings. These are basically taking water temperature readings here and the pump. It's all tied in, all this is tied in together. It goes into this central box down here and if you, you probably can't see it, but there's a little thing like an antenna you see on the roof of the car, it's a wireless modem. So real time. Uh, the guys at uh, GTI are getting data on this and they're, they're testing a real world efficiency. Okay, so um, they're gonna, this is the final stage. If it lives up to their expectations, it's going to be approved and that's going to be what they're going to do. You know, the big rebates are going to be more on this type of system as opposed to just a 95% uh, system because in this type of thing, they have to get a certain efficiency on the rebates that they give out. And the, what the beauty of this system is, when you change out an existing system, you're changing out a 60% efficient hot water tank, and you're changing out a 60 to 70% furnace. So this doesn't just upgrade your furnace, this upgrades your hot water, and it upgrades your furnace. So you get kind of two bangs for the same buck, okay?